Sad Medical. My name is Richard, and in today's session, we will be discussing about DPL Vivid View 12i, a multi pair patient monitor. So, without any further delay, let's move on to unboxing and see the device's specification. As you can see, these are the components inside the box. First of all, we have a temperature sensor, disposable ECG electrodes. NADP cup and fluids, a SPO2 sensor, a battery for the device, and a ECG cable, a power cord, and a earring cable, and user cable. Now we can move on to the monitor. As you see, this monitor has a huge display, 12.1 inch TFT display. And in bottom you can find a rotating knob to access the menu settings and here is our on off button here is our AC indicator, power indicator, mute switch, fast switch, freeze, MABP, record and menu switch and in the top side you can see there is a LED indicator for alarm and in side view you can see there is our temperature, sen temperature port ECG port, NABP port, SPO2 port and 3 optional IBP1, IBP2 and CO2 that are optional ports if you need to purchase you can purchase it with optional and in back side you can see here is our power input this is ethernet port, USB port and this is our earthing port As you can see, here is our battery compartment. Just pull this rubber and you can remove. And to insert the battery, you need to first watch how these three terminals are arranged. Based on that, inside there will be terminals. You could assume that and you can just insert your battery. Just keep it straight and just push it out. Once its battery is inserted, you just close the battery compartment after that now we can see make our connections like first we can connect our NABP just connect it like this and we can connect our ECG and our temperature probe Last, we can connect our SPO2. As you can see, for NABP, they have included three types of cups. First one is for infant cup, second one is adult cup, and child cup. Three types of cup are available. To power on the device, just press the power button. As you can see in the display the BPL logo. Wait for a few seconds to turn on. As you can see this is our main display. In this you can find options like uh, you can see here are our parameters heart rate, SpO2, pulse respiration rate and bottom side you can find menu option patient screen option and this side you can see the waveforms now you can just uh, select menu option from down or we can just press menu button you can see the first option here is ECG setup in ECG setup uh, you can just change the ECG based on your needs one set you can just okay and second option same respiration setup you can just uh, select the lead type apnea type and you can select same spo2 setup you just select and then ipp up you can just press manual auto and patient type type and click ok and same temperature setup you can change Celsius or degree Fahrenheit 
and alarm setup you can see like a uh, heart rate alarm you can on and you can select medium high and high limit low limit for hr spo2 or for all parameters you can set and you can see your screen set like uh, we have have set screen in big front screen seven wall screen like if you want you want big front screen just select Now we can set it on standard screen. After that maintenance we can adjust time date in here we can change and volume setup, brightness setup and we can close. And, and then bottom you can see patient option. Just click and you can admit a patient by entering their name and all other details. And you discharge patient, and you can access screen setting settings from here. Here, NABP settings, alarm set setup, and here is our review. In this, you can see ECG review, NABP trend table, alarm trend, and our volume. And we can change to night mode. You can, you can on standby by mode. And this is also home return button, and here you can record button it's used to record and nabp you can just press this button and the nabp statement will start and you can freeze your waveforms in here and this is pause button and mute button to mute the alarms and to power off the device just plus the power button once and you can see you can select yes now the device automatically shut down These are the basic settings you should know about DTL UDV 12i. I hope this video was interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any doubts, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video.